Uh, we're here in Ottawa, Pleur Nightclub, joined by Solid Stone. Uh, you're used to the cold weather. It's like minus 35 out here. This is nothing, right? Yeah, you get used to it after, after living here for so long. So, uh, yeah, it doesn't bother you anymore. Now, you're based out of Montreal. Yeah. Not too far of a trip over. In Toronto last week. Do you get to play a lot in Canada? Uh, yeah, uh, well, I played in Vancouver already, Toronto a few times, uh, first, uh, second time in Ottawa, and I played a few times in Montreal as well. So yeah, it's, uh, it's, I've been playing in Canada for a while now. Now you grew up in Montreal. Right. I came here when I was uh, eight, uh, eight months old and uh, yeah, basically Canadian. <laughs> so you pretty much lived the, the trance and the house and the club scene in the area. I would sort of say I grew up in the Toronto side of things. Uh, do you feel a particular closeness to Montreal compared to everywhere else? Yeah, for sure. I mean, uh, growing up here, I mean, Montreal is the reason why I'm, you know, DJing because I started playing there first, and you know, the the, the people there are really supportive, and uh, yeah, I mean, uh, the the scene there is great. People are really musically educated, so that's uh, that's a, that's a plus. And uh, yeah, I love much y'all. <laughs> so, so tell me when you first really got into things and you realized, okay, maybe this is for me. I just started making music on a hunch in uh, 2009. You know, I was, I was listening to music and then I realized, you know, like I can do this myself. So I just started, uh, you know, I got FL Studio and I started working on music myself. And, and the rest is history, as you say. So you started in the studio before you really got connected into the music and the clubs, or was there sort of a little relationship that developed there? I honestly just started uh, going to clubs uh, about uh, four years ago, and you know I, I, I started making music because I wanted to be a DJ, and I thought you know the, the best way to be successful is by making your own music. You know it's the, one of the only ways to stand out. So yeah, that's why I started making music, and you know. That's, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so if you were to name a song that you maybe first kind of clued in, you're like, okay, you know what? I can sort of trace things back to it. Do you have one? I mean, the first track really that was, you know, to, one, one of my favorite tracks that was made back in the days was the first time I heard it in 2005 or four was uh, Blueberry from Prob Spot that was released on Cold Harbor. You know, that's one of my all-time favorites and, you know, I'm still even now, uh, nowadays, I'm trying to recreate that, you know, vibe that, that it had back in the days. Yeah, I, I love that sound. I, uh, I, Foreplay is my favorite from, from his, actually, so, which is great. And you've found yourself playing and loving that style uh, and you really champion it. Would you like the chance to sort of on a side note, get a, to go out and play somewhere else, something completely different, and what would it be? Uh, another genre or style of music I really like is liquid drum and bass. I mean, if I'm not listening to like uh, a progressive or techno or trance, I'm listening to drum and bass because, and I really get inspired by drum and bass because it has those amazing, you know, atmosphere and, and bass lines. Uh, so yeah, I, I really love that style of music. So. If I, would, if I wasn't producing or making or playing uh, progressive or techno, I would be playing that, that's for sure. Is there a spot right now that you haven't had a chance to go to that you would like to go experience? Uh, you mean like a club or... I mean, I've only started traveling uh, last year. I mean, my first plane ride was uh, in April of last year, so... You know, pretty much everywhere I want to see. I want to see everywhere. <laughs> I guess we'll, we'll keep it close to home then. Did you find yourself following or supporting any local Montreal artists? To be honest, there's there's uh, there's a guy from Montreal as well uh, called Tomac. He makes. Uh, I mean, he's he's up and coming, and he has like he's getting good support from uh, Ali and Fila especially, and he has releases on Armada, and I think he's going to do very well. Is there someone you'd like to be able to work with? From Montreal, I I'll say Toronto too, or yeah. somewhere in Canada. How's that? I don't know that many producers to be able to answer that question. Yeah, I'm, I'm very secluded, unfortunately. You know, I do my own thing, but uh, yeah, I'm I, I, off the top of my head. I am sorry, I wouldn't be able to say. <laughs> All good. All good. Uh, so yes, I don't do that many collaborations. If you notice, I, I don't work really. Uh, 
it's it's hard to it's hard to find someone who has the same sound or you know something that you can do with like I try that you can work with uh, with someone it's kind of hard I mean for me because I'm very picky it's either I need to do everything or I'm not gonna do anything yeah well there's nothing wrong with that right so you don't obvious that you don't have ghost producers or anything no. like that which is no. great so I do everything from A to Z to mastering uh, you know everything how important is it to provide DJ sets to your fans do you do that a lot and how do you how do you provide that option? I mean, I have a, I have my own radio show called Refresh Radio, and uh, it's it's a it's a weekly radio show on, on Thursday on DIFM, uh, and I had to plug that in. And uh, you know, it's a one-hour mix, but it, it showcases what my DJing is like. Uh, you know, it's just a one-hour show, but I try to showcase uh, in one hour what's and how I would be uh, like building my sets starting from you know deep progressive to like the more techie and then trancey and you know bringing it uh, back down a little at the end uh, and I feel that's important because you know it I, I can't really listen to the same thing uh, for like four hours straight that's too much for me so uh, I, I have to vary and I guess we'll sort of finish off with with the new albums on the way uh, do you have any expectations for that or are you just along for the ride now that it's done uh, pretty much I mean I've been working on it for the past year or so and uh, you know I'm really happy with it it's it's my first album and you know the way I built the album is like uh, I, I built it as if it was a, a set you know it starts off uh, you know more deep and uh, and progressive and then builds up uh, as, as the album goes on but uh, yeah I'm really happy with it and uh, you know I hope it's gonna do well obviously and uh, you know we'll see what happens <laughs> well I wish you all the best there and tonight and moving forward in 2016 thanks man appreciate it hey guys this is Solid Stone and you're listening to Amplified Radio Presents